Okay, people, we have a good one here today. I have something that might be considered or may not be considered. It just depends on how you look at it. A Mac Studio killer. Yes, I have something running a really powerful processor. It's the AMD Ryzen Strix Halo. We've seen it before, so we know what it's capable of. Good single and especially multi-core performance and integrated graphics that rival that of a dedicated or discrete GPU, uh, which would be the equivalent, I would say, of an RT x 4070 laptop gpu what i'm talking about here today is the hp z2 mini g1a and the a of course stands for amd running that strix halo we've seen it before and it has 16 cores 32 threads and it is loaded to bear with ram now the unit that hp sent over has 128 gigabytes why is that important well uh really it's important because now we're doing more ai work llms and the more ram the better so this is loaded for bear in terms of that it also has very good performance to do professional work like video editing in premiere pro davinci resolve as i'll show you and of course you can also game on your downtime when you're not doing your work because it has a very capable graphics performance even though it is integrated it is certainly really good we're talking about the radeon 8060s of course we've seen it before we know what it's capable of and in this form factor a mini workstation form factor it just takes it to another level although it's not perfect there is one port that is missing that we'll get into but it does have a lot of io that you'll definitely need especially in the professional landscape but of course let's get into it right now let's get it out of the box let's run some numbers and let's see if it's worth it and of course i paired it with a really good hp monitor hey everybody it's andrew and this is the hp z2 mini g1a brand new for 2025 coming up okay so i've already cut it open just to see what we have in here okay the units right here we'll get to that in a moment we have this uh mouse here and that of course is a standard wired mouse nothing too out of the ordinary uh, it's just run-of-the-mill hp mouse pretty good and then you have your power cable that's just, there's a 300 internal supply there's no external supply so it's all built in and they give you a display port to mini display port adapter you'll need that and by the way there is no hdmi that's one little nitpick i'd like to see on this in terms of an hdmi but display port does the job here your keyboard wired from hp so uh, those have some feet here you can click those out and then you can give it an angle right there so that is the accessories and everything in the box so let's take a look at the unit itself and there it is. Okay, so this is some pretty dense stuff here. Uh, this is uh, got some HP branding there, and of course AI stuff there. And then there's your power button right there. So you can probably get a good look at it right there. All right, so on the bottom here is a sticker letting you know we have the HP Z2 Mini G1A AMD Strix Halo Pro. That's the AI Max Pro 395. It's got 128 gigabytes of LPDDR5 RAM, uh, and it has two one terabyte storage PCIe Gen 4 Z Turbo, according to that. All right, we'll get into all that when we look at the numbers and we look internally here, but uh, pretty good so far. Let's get right to it. All right, here's a look at the ports, and I'm gonna put it on the screen right now so you know exactly what you're getting. The big thing here to me is the two Thunderbolt 4 ports that support 40 gigabits per second. You get RJ45, you get two uh, mini display ports 2.1, you get a security cable lock, you get uh, one flex IO on the top side, that choose, and you can choose one of the following options. One dual super speed USB-A, five gigabits per second, uh, one gigabit NIC USB based serial port option, second flex IO on the bottom side, uh, you can choose, again, the same things. Basically, you could do the serial port option, the external power button, and then you have your HP remote system controller. So those are some flexible options that you can add into that according to their specs here. So these are the two right there. Now, on the front is your power button, of course. And on the side, you can get a USB-A port and a USB Type-C 10 gigabits per second. So that is what we have there. And then, again, you have your headphone jack right there. So overall, pretty good I.O. There is no doubt about it. But one thing missing, no HDMI. So you'll have to rely on those 
two mini display ports, and of course, there is that adapter in the box. And for those wondering, you do get a 36-month warranty. That is always appreciated. Now, for those wondering just how much this weighs, because it does feel pretty dense, let's take a look at it. Uh, this is 2.631 or 2.63 kilograms, and that is 5 pounds, 12.8 ounces. So if you want to take this with you, theor theoretically you can. It's not the biggest thing out there, but it does have some heft to it. There's no doubt about it. And if you want to bring the power cord here, you're looking at 6 pounds, 2 ounces, and that would be in kilograms, 2.779 kilograms for a total potential travel weight, although I'm not sure how many of you are going to travel with it, but it is portable in that sense. All right, let's see if we can get this open. Here's the latch, and I think we just slide this off like that. Oh, that was easy. So no tool needed, toolless entry here. And there it is with this off. So I think we have to remove some stuff to get to the SSD slots there, but here you can see what it looks like without the cover on it. Again, toolless entry, which is always a big premium. And again, you could upgrade the storage. The RAM, I don't believe you can upgrade because it is uh, integrated onto the system here. So uh, just keep that in mind. Now, when it comes to wireless, you're looking at Wi-Fi 7 and a Bluetooth combo card here. And that, of course, uh, is really good. It makes it more future-proof. I had no issue with either the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth. So that has been working very well. And as I mentioned earlier, this is running the Strix Halo, which is AMD Ryzen AI Max Plus Pro 395, 16 cores, 32 threads, and a very impressive integrated graphics, the Radeon 8060S. We've seen it before on the Z Flow 13 that we looked at from Asus and some other laptops, of course, but this is a real powerhouse, especially when it comes to integrated graphics. Now, looking at the single and multi-core score here with Geekbench, very, very impressive here, obviously getting 29. 34 single core, 16,687 multi core, turning to Cinebench 2024. You're looking at more of the same here. Excellent. The multi core really here is where it shines. Single core, I would say it's on par with others in the category, but as a mobile workstation here, impressive multi threaded performance. Now, when you look at the AI workloads here, of course, Geekbench AI, this was certainly holding its own, especially against something like the MacBook Pro 16 that I have. So very impressive. So this integrated graphic solution, as I mentioned, certainly shines here. Obviously, a very good time spy score here. And this is really amazing because this, this is an integrated solution. This is not a dedicated GPU. Look at the Wildlife Extreme. Look at the Firestrike score. So very, very good numbers here indeed. And that means you could also game on your downtime and you're not doing your work. You'll have to play with some of the settings, but very playable frame rates. Obviously, that is impressive. But of course, one thing I did notice is the fan noise when you put it under heavy load, reaching as high as 70 decibels under maximum load. When you play something like Cyberpunk, you're looking at around 67 decibels. And this is what it sounds like. And one consequence of having that fan noise, well, you'll keep it pretty cool in terms of the system temperatures here as far as the surface temperatures under load. And good news, when I ran the Time Spy stress test to see if this will throttle under heavy load, it got a passing score of 97%, meaning it detected virtually no throttling under load. Good result there. And of course, doing video editing in something like Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve, definitely very good on here. Of course, it definitely will get the job done. I ran the Pugin Bench DaVinci Resolve benchmark, certainly holding its own with things that have a discrete GPU. This certainly did the job. So very impressive for a mini workstation to be on that level. And of course, I had to pair this with a equally great monitor, of course, and that is the HP Series 7 Pro 734PM that HP graciously sent over, a 34-inch WQHD display here, and or monitor, I should say, and it really is in a pretty compact box here, gets you everything you need with the stand and everything, getting you up and running, and it also has a built-in webcam that is really high res and really good, and the monitor has plenty of I.O. on the back, you also have some on the bottom, 
and it really has some great features in the menu so you can adjust to your liking. Uh, it has built-in speakers that actually sound pretty good as well. Color accuracy was on point here. So if you're going to do content creation, it's very good. It's an excellent coverage of the color gamut. So for content creation, especially when you pair it to the Z2 Mini workstation here, that is a great combination. So you definitely can get creative work done, professional creative work done with this kind of combination. So very impressive indeed. Now you do have the option of getting an adapter that allows you to visa mount this on the back of a monitor keeping it out of the way, making it a more compact and sleek package together with the monitor. So I like having that ability to do that. All right, let's bring it all home. And what do I think about the HP Z2 Mini G1A? I think this is a great versatile mini workstation. It proves to be powerful. It's got a pretty compact form factor and it's designed for professional applications. It has 16 cores, so you're gonna get high computing power. It's complemented by the integrated Radeon graphics, the RX 8060S, as we mentioned, very impressive, and it's extremely high performance. It compete with the likes of an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 laptop, for example. So again, very good power in this little compact form factor, although it does have a little density in terms of the weight. The system offers good conditions for computing intensive tasks, such as 3D rendering, video editing. The connectivity is good, but of course, I'd like to see HDMI, although I know in professional settings it may not be as important. Uh, you do have the mini display port. You'll have to use the adapter for a full-size display port, so that is one thing to keep in mind. Uh, you get a lot of fan noise under load, as I showed you here, so that is definitely something to be aware of, although it didn't throttle or anything like that, and the fan really kept it really cool. It's got a built-in 300-watt power supply, so you don't have to carry a lug around any kind of power supply. It's all built in. So in case you do want to take this room to room or office to office, you definitely have that option. Uh, the Z2 Mini is currently one of the best compact workstations on the market. It's powerful. It's got expandability in terms of the storage and some other components, although the RAM is not upgradable by the user, although I have 128 gigabytes of that RAM, very fast RAM in this unit. So very impressive for those that need that high RAM requirements, especially if you're going to do any kind of LLM and AI work, you'll definitely want the having you more RAM. It's definitely a benefit in terms of that. But this is an excellent choice for those professionals that need a mini workstation that won't take up a lot of room on your desk, but give you that powerful performance that you need to render 3D models and stuff like that. This certainly will get the job done. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comments section below. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. If you are a casual viewer of my content, why not hit that subscribe button? It doesn't cost you anything and it goes to help support the channel. And in fact, we're trying to make our big push right now to get to 300,000 by the end of the year. We're already at almost 257,000 and growing rapidly. So I wanna thank everybody for the tremendous amount of support. If you're going to buy something like the Z2 Mini G1A, check out the links in the description below. Yes, they are affiliate links. No, it's not a huge commission, a small commission to help support the channel. Helps keep the lights on here in the studio. So until next time, this is Andrew, and I'll see you in the next video.